Hello everyone, this is the lovely Miss Dime and today I'm responding to one of my favorite YouTubers and big sister Kimberly J. Hi Kimmy, um, I'm so touched and so inspired by your video and it has impacted me in a very special way. I was so floored by the fact that you were so candid and so transparent and so open about a topic that's really hush-hush and that most people want to sweep under the rug like it doesn't happen. And you open the door and let women know, sisters, women of color, and females in general that there is life after trauma you can be socially well adjusted you can be a positive woman you can develop healthy relationships with men in spite of going through domestic violence um, on my other channel Afrocentric Dime um, my former pseudonym I discussed my history in relationships and I talked about going through domestic violence, physical, sexual, and psychological abuse and the impact that it has had on my life. And at that time I was going through a lot of pain and hurt because when you go through that on a daily basis and you're being belittled and being treated like you're no better than a piece of trash in a landfill. It eats away at you bit by bit by bit to the point where you have nothing left. And I felt like I had to build my self-esteem up from the ground, from the ground up. And it changed the way I look at men in general. And it's hard for me not to make generalizations about men and because all except one of my relationships have been with black males and I don't want to throw good quality men under the bus because of choices that I made and I'm not going to fault somebody who didn't even know me who didn't do anything to me for the for the Bad, bad actions of men before him because there is a man out there who will love me, respect me, honor me, and never speak to me, never put his hands on me, never make me feel like I'm less than anything that I am. Um, it, I'm still dealing with hurt, trust issues, and just not having my footing in terms of wanting to be in a relationship because I feel that I will for a long time have to look over my shoulder and wonder is today the day that a man is going to turn his back on me and the person that is supposed to love and protect me is going to hurt me. I don't want to be in that mold of thinking and this video has like inspired me to take a good hard look at my feelings and being able to stand firm and know that I didn't deserve that 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 has happened to other women and men too because they are also victims of things like that and they also experience that but it's not as widely talked about as it is with women and then you can move past that um, it is very difficult when you were in s several relationships that were like that and the abuse was consistent daily for multiple years and the people at that time showed no remorse I, it would be easy to forgive someone when they are sincere and they really mean that they're sorry but when you don't get that at that time or you don't get it until years later which happened 
then you you tend to resent those individuals and I held a lot of resentment and a lot of anger for years and that didn't help me any that was holding me back from life that was holding me back from a positive healthy loving relationship which I'm entitled to and I'm not gonna put a man through heck because I made poor choices and it took a very 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 special human being beautiful most beautiful young man I've ever run across in my life one of my most favorite people to help me see that it was wrong for those things to happen but it's also wrong to throw men under the bus especially men of color because of a bad relationship learn from those experiences and also take personal accountability I wasn't very aware of what was going on around me I was very naive I had a very idealistic view of relationships I wasn't good at discerning who was really for me and who was really against me in those situations you have to take responsibility for your part in it I'm not going to justify um, I'm not going to say that what they did wasn't wrong because it was on so many levels I believe if a man is hit he does have a right to defend himself but no man at any time ever has a right to initiate physical violence against a physical or sexual violence against a woman um, and I mean and just with physical if she didn't initiate any hitting or anything with him I don't care how mad you are if the person didn't say anything to you to provoke it or they did not hit you you don't have the right to put your hands on a woman you don't have the right to hurt somebody, especially somebody who didn't do anything to you. Um, that bothers me. But in that pain, I still have to accept responsibility for the part I played in it. By staying in relationships that were negative. By not being a better judge of character and making bad decisions. I do accept responsibility for that part. But I am motivated not to live in fear anymore and be able to trust that the next person that comes into my life won't do those things and they will value me and there are things I don't have to tolerate. No, I'm not supposed to come at a man as though I'm another man and we're equals in strength, because physical strength, because that's not true. And I shouldn't ever disrespect a man like that loud talk the person or curse them out. But I do have a right and a responsibility to defend myself because those are survival skills and I also need to be able to recognize wolves in sheep's clothing everybody that's charming everybody that appears friendly is not and I recommend knowing a person not just going by being physically attracted to somebody to see people for who they are but back to this person that I feel like I owe so much to. I admire, I really respect this individual. I cherish that person. And that individual will always be near and dear to my heart because it was because of that person that I was able for the first time to see that it's possible for a man to still be interested in me after knowing the, that dark place and that there are people 
who will handle me with care and that I can feel secure with and that I am a beautiful person and I didn't deserve any of that. It was a beautiful thing for you to make this video and it was hard for me to talk about something so painful and it's still painful to this day but thank you for giving a sort of hug to every woman out there and saying that we can stand together and we can get through this together you don't know how much that meant to me for you to come out with something that's so personal and such a source of pain and speak about it. Thank you for being such a wonderful big sister to me and I love you very much Kim. Bye.